Hey guys, <clears throat> um, we're going to go over something called gas stoichiometry today. So go ahead and get out a piece of paper to write on. It could be notebook paper, or printer paper, and a few colors if you want. Um, you know, I like to keep things colorful. Um, I'm going to try to get through this somewhat quickly, so please make sure you watch the whole video because I'm going to do two examples and they're different. Okay, so... Um, don't just skip. If I'm talking too slow for you, then stoichiometry. Go ahead and put a title on the top. And you guys do need to take notes. So pause and go get something to write, uh, write with if um, you don't already have something to write with. Okay? Because this is the whole point of the video. So you can write everything down and take notes. If I'm talking too slow for you, then you can go ahead and put me on double speed for all I care. But if I'm talking too fast for you, you can pause it, go back, do whatever you need to do. So we're going to talk about gas stoichiometry. First thing I want to review real fast is STP. STP. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. So standard temperature we know is zero degrees Celsius, which is the same thing as saying 273 Kelvin. Okay. And standard pressure is one atmosphere, which is the same thing as saying 760 millimeters of mercury which is the same thing as saying 760 torr, which is also the same thing as saying 101.3 kPa. Okay, so that's what STP is. It's standard temperature and pressure. Um, when you're under these conditions, um, you're at STP. So there's a fun fact that we're going to learn today. And that fun fact is that if you have one mole of any gas at STP, at standard temperature and pressure under these conditions, then it's going to have a volume of 22.4 liters. Okay, that is a big important thing that we need to talk about today. Okay, so if you remember back to Avogadro's principle, Avogadro told us, hey, if you have one, if you have the same amount of gas in two different containers and they're under the same pressure and temperature conditions, then their volume will be the same. And that volume for one mole just happens to be 22.4 liters. Okay, it doesn't matter what type of gas you have. If it's an STP, if there's one mole of it, it's going to have a volume of 22.4 liters. Okay, so let's jump into our first example for our first gas stoichiometry problem. So example one. Remember, there's going to be two examples. Pay attention to both examples because they are different. Okay, and both of them could pop up on a quiz. So first example. It says consider the reaction below. So it gives you a balanced chemical equation. If it gives you a balanced chemical equation, this is a dead giveaway that this is a stoichiometry problem. And if you remember, stoichiometry is when we go from one substance to a new substance. Okay? So if it says, so it says you start with 100 grams of ammonia. Remember, ammonia is NH3. So you have 100 grams of this stuff. It says what volume of NO2 gas can be produced at STP. So because we're at STP, we can use this fun fact here. Okay, so let's figure out how we're going to do this. Because we're starting with 100 grams of ammonia and it wants us to figure out volume of this, what we need to do first is take those grams of ammonia, turn them into moles, and then we can do our mole ratio to go to NO2. So let's go ahead and take this number we're starting with, our 100 grams of ammonia. Remember, ammonia is NH3, okay? And you can put it over one if you want. And just like when we did our whole stoichiometry unit, we're going to go ahead and take grams of ammonia, grams of NH3, and put it down here so it cancels out. And then we're going to take those grams and turn them into moles. That's always our first step is to turn into moles when we're dealing with stoichiometry, okay? So now that we're in moles NH3, I'm going to wait to fill in my numbers because you guys know I like to do my units and substances before I even worry about numbers. So now that I have moles of NH3, because I'm in moles, I can now go to moles of my new substance. So I'm going to go from moles of NH3, and I'm going to go to moles of my new substance, which is NO2, okay? Moles of NO2. Okay, and then it wants to know the volume. And because we're at STP, we can just go ahead and go from moles of NO2 to liters of NO2, because volume is measured in liters, right? Okay. 
So now that I have all my units and substances filled in, I'm going to look for my mole ratio. And remember, I like to put a cloud around the mole ratio. And the mole ratio is where I have moles over moles. And if you remember, the mole ratio is the only place that you can have two different substances on the top and bottom. Everywhere else, your substances should remain the same on top and bottom. Sorry if you can hear that bird in my backyard. It's like really loud. Um, okay, so my mole ratio. This is where I look at the balanced chemical equation to... Um, find my coefficients. So NO2 has a 4 in front of it, and NH3 also has a 4 in front of it. Now, everywhere else I see the word mole, I'm going to put a 1. Now, G for grams tells me to go to the periodic table. Okay, And if I'm going to go to the periodic table, I need to calculate the molar mass of that. So let me grab my calculator so we can calculate the molar mass. And when I calculated that, as hopefully you guys did, I got 17.034 grams. Okay? Now, liters. Because we're at STP, I know that one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. Okay? So now let's show that our units cancel. And we can put it in our calculator. So, luckily... Um, the 4 over 4, they kind of cancel out, so we don't have to worry about those. So I'm going to go times 22.4 and then divide by my 17.034, and I get 131.5, blah, 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 blah. So let me write my unrounded answer here, 131.5017. And how many sig figs do we need? It looks like we need four sig figs. So I'm going to go 131.5 liters of NO2. That would be my answer, okay? So that is how you do these sorts of problems when it's at STP. So if you have a stoichiometry problem with gases at STP, then use the 22.4 trick, okay? Now, example two is not at STP. What do you do when it's not at STP? So let's look at this example. Example two. Okay, so when it's not at STP, let's make a note to ourselves. When not at STP, then pretty much what you're going to have to do is use the ideal gas law. So PV equals NRT. That's our ideal gas law. Okay, so let's look at this example. So again, it gives us a balanced chemical equation. That tells us, hey, this is going to be a stoichiometry problem, okay? And then um, it's not at STP because it has a pressure and a temperature that are very different from standard temperature and pressure, okay? So it says, um, how many liters of NH3, okay, so how many liters of this stuff at these conditions are going to be required to react with 32 grams of O2? Okay, so this 32 grams of O2, that's kind of where we're going to start. And then because we have grams of O2, we know we can go to moles of O2. Then we can go to moles of our NH3. And then we're going to plug all that into PV equals NRT to figure out what our volume would be. Okay. So let's start with our 32 grams of O2. And we can put that over 1. And so we're going to take our grams of O2 and go to moles of O2. And now that we're in moles, we can go to moles of our new substance. Moles of what we're looking for is NH3. So let's put our moles of NH3 on top. Okay, now that we're in the correct substance, we're at NH3. Um, we cannot do what we did last um, example and just use the 22.4 to figure out liters because we're not at STP. So we're just going to stop there at moles. Um, and let's see, this is our mole ratio, wherever you have moles over moles, that's our mole ratio. So I'm going to look at the balanced chemical equation to fill in these numbers. NH3 has a 4 in front of it, O2 has a 5 in front of it. Okay, so remember you look at your balanced chemical equation to fill in those numbers. Now everywhere else you see the word mole, you're going to put a 1. And G for grams tells you to go to the periodic table. So go to the periodic table, look up the molar mass of oxygen. You will find that oxygen is 16. you got to double it. That will give you 32. Okay, this actually makes the math really easy because 
look. There's a 32 here and a 32 here, so those are going to cancel. So really what you just need to do in your calculator is figure out what's 4 divided, oops, 4 divided by 5. And you get 0 0.8. 0 0.8 moles of NH3. Okay, cool. So now we have our moles of NH3, we have our temperature, we have our pressure. We can plug all these things in to PV equals NRT to solve for liters. Okay, so let's figure out what we have. P, V, N, R, T. Let's figure out what all our variables are. So our pressure is five atmospheres. Our volume is what we're looking for. Question mark, what is it? I don't know, let's find out. N stands for number of moles. We just figured out that our number of moles for NH3 is going to be 0.8. R is our gas constant, so 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin, okay? And our temperature is 850, but we need to convert that to Kelvin, right? So 850 plus 273 is gonna give us 1123 Kelvin. Okay, always, 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 temperature needs to be in Kelvin when we're doing gas loss, okay? So let's plug all that into PV equals NRT. So our pressure times our volume, our volume is gonna be our variable, that's what we're looking for, okay? And then our moles, our R value, which is a constant, and I know the units are ridiculous on R, but you know, that's life. And then T is 1, 1, 2, 3 Kelvin. Remember to plug in your temperature in Kelvin. So now we need to solve for volume. So to get volume by itself, let's divide by that five atmospheres. So it'll cancel out. Divide by the five atmospheres here. And it looks like our moles cancel our Kelvin cancel and our atmospheres cancel, leaving us with liters, which is what we want because we're solving for volume. So I'm gonna go 0 0.8 times 0 0.0821 times 1123 divided by our five atmospheres and I got 14.75, 14.7517, blah, 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 blah. So how many sig figs do we need? Looking up here, this says three, this says three, but this only has two sig figs because there's no decimal there. So let's round to two sig figs. So our volume is going to have two sig figs, so that seven is going to bump that up to a 15. And my units are going to be liters because we just talked about how we have liters left over and we're solving for volume. Okay, so that is um, how you do it. So remember, just quick recap, when you have your question says you're at STP, then you can just use the 22.4 liter trick. When you're not at STP, you need to figure out how many moles you have, whatever substance you're looking for, plug it in to PV equals NRT, okay? So go ahead and do the U try. It should be under assignments. And you can message me if you have any questions.